Trek through it. I am not your host of this very again fun. I am your very nervous guest host. <laughs> I'm Amanda Stevens with Parabolic Press. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Mary will be back in a couple of weeks. She's doing well. I talked to her shortly uh, a little time ago, and, and she's doing well. She's on the mend, and, and she's going to try to catch the show either tonight or catch the replay. So, yay. We'll, we'll be happy to have Mary back soon. Welcome to everybody in the chatter box. Uh, I can't see it right now, but Micah's going to shout out. <laughs> And Mr. Producer is here as well. Lucky for us, Mr. Producer will be spinning the wheel tonight and running the show as normal as possible. <laughs> so thank you so much. Uh, let's see, a little bit of housekeeping. Like I said, Mary's out for a couple of weeks. Uh, next week, we'll have another guest host, Biddy Penny. Um, and then the following week is Mary's twin sister reading us a Christmas story. Uh, I'll be back on January 6th for... That's my birthday. And then the following week, we'll have Mary back again. So we would like to thank our spin sponsors. And I think there's a, there we go. <laughs> Artful Angel this month. Uh, you guys met Carice recently. She's awesome. And she's offering prizes for everybody this month. Um, I'm going to do a couple prizes tonight too. I guess you guys didn't know about that. Well, we didn't. It was a surprise. Anyhow. Uh, we would also like to remind everybody that our patrons actually help fund the show. There's no, there, the spin sponsors only help with some, some of the prizes, but the patrons really help move the show along. So thank you to our patrons. And we do have a new patron this month. Um, Carice from Art Artful Angel is a new patron this month. So welcome. Um, just remember, community sponsored show for less than one Starbucks a month. You can help keep this show going. All right. Um, if you guys also want another way to participate and help the show, you can get your merch. <laughs> and, um, there's sweatshirts. I need to get a sweatshirt, I think. Uh, lots of t-shirts. So whatever you'd like and even mugs. So that's lots of fun. Get your merchandise. All right. And then I think it's going to be time to welcome our guest. We are very excited to have Lauren Taylor joining us tonight. You guys know her. She's been here before. And I, there we go. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I get, I, I'm lucky because I've met Lauren in person multiple times and, and we live close by. So <laughs> that's awesome. But Lauren, you've been here before. How many times have you been on the show? I'm going to put this Um, down. This is my third time um it's been i think i came on in september of 2021 and then my daughter and i were on earlier in the year together so my third time awesome well yeah. i think back. number four it actually says oh. <laughs> is my fourth i don't is it <laughs> sometimes they just fly by <laughs> i guess maybe i am this is my fourth. i thought it was third but I, I told Mary I'd come on anytime, so open-ended. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell everybody where they can find your YouTube channel and your blog. Yes, so I am at laurentaylormade.cards, and then you can find me at Lauren Taylor Made on YouTube and Facebook and TikTok and Instagram. But my Instagram, <laughs> I do have periods, lauren.taylor.made, because someone already had my username so <laughs> <laughs> awesome if you guys aren't already following her i'm sure you're definitely going to want to subscribe i want to share a couple of cards recently uh lauren was participating at a craft fair and my husband and i drove down and i bought some of her cards <laughs> these are fun but this one do you guys recognize this this was a craft roulette card it's a belly band look at how cute so you just build a little scene isn't that awesome and then you have your stamp words and that's a quick and easy card, and I think it's gorgeous. And then this one I thought was really cool, too, because it's just like all sepia. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. She's great. You guys should definitely follow her. So um, I wanted to ask you, team orange or team purple? Still team purple. <laughs> <laughs> I love the cool colors, like the teals and the blues and the purples and greens. So I... I mean, Halloween passed. So, of course, I think everyone's team orange from like, you know, September to November, but definitely still team purple. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. 
Well, I still haven't painted my front door orange, but at one point I will. I, I, that's my plan. So I tend to, I tend to be team orange. <laughs> but, I can tell you have a warm, bubbly spirit. And I always joke that I'm cold inside always. So oh, I'll stick with my tools. <laughs> I'm like bundled up. I'm in Southern California and complaining about how cold it is. It's pretty sad. <laughs> we have the heater on here. We're in Southern California too. And, uh, and I'm wearing a sweater today too. <laughs> All right. So I think we're going to get into some of the um, achievements. But before we do, I think you had a question you wanted to ask me. Yeah. What is craft roulette? Funny you should ask. <laughs> Let's find out. What is Craft Roulette? Craft Roulette is a live paper crafts challenge show where the goal is to complete a project that has been randomly selected by the spin of a wheel. There are four categories we spin for. Project, Colors, Element, and Random. Each category has 24 possible options with a combined possibility of 331,776 unique projects. Whoa. We're live every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Central on YouTube.com slash Craft Roulette. Please like and subscribe. Each week we bring on a special guest crafter to create along with us and share their unique take on the challenge. You can play too. Complete a unique project of your own using the same four parameters set in this episode. You'll have 48 hours to contribute by submitting pictures of your project through the submission form on craftroulette.live. Contributions are featured on marygunfun.com's weekly episode blog and the next episode. Let's recap last week's episode and submissions. All right. So let's take a look at last week's episode now that we know what Craft Roulette is. We've got uh, Mary's card. Oh, I'm sorry. First, all of our contributions, 143 contributions and over 11,000 so far. Isn't that awesome? What did Mary say? It's like five stories of cards. If you had five story building, that's a lot of cards. <laughs> I thought I had a lot of cards. <laughs> so last week, this is Mary's card. Isn't it adorable? The parameters were, let's see, card with a tag. The colors were blue green plus two, best friends, and then a stamped background. So everybody made cards this week using those parameters. And this one was Mary's. I love it. Cute little snowman. And then let's take a look at Christine's. This is beautiful too. Oh, look at those koalas. So cute. And Christine, she's been on the show, what, seven times now? That's awesome. I think that was <laughs> her eight. Pro. Oh, eight. Okay, eight show now. Awesome. So we're going to take a look at our uh, achievement board. And we've got, I don't think we have any first timers, but we have quite a few zero heroes. And this part's going to be on a timer. So I'm just going to read first names and I'll try not to butcher them, I promise. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, Renee's at 10 cards. Oh, I love those little ladies. Super cute. And then we've got Michelle from Australia. Look at that, 10 cards. I love that one, so cute. Our little snow friends. Jay's got 10 cards here too. Yay, Jay. That's awesome. And Sarah's at 20, 20 cards. Wow, fantastic. I love those pastels. And Cindy's here with 20 cards as well. Oh, that's cute. Look at those little, the dragon and the prince and princess. Super cute. And then we've got Sue. I think that says 30. My eyes are failing me. <laughs> Way to go, Sue. Beautiful card. And then Tanya's at 30 cards as well. I like those colorful snowflakes in the background. Regina is at 30. That does say 30th, right? Yep. <laughs> Adorable. I like that. 
little snow mouse. And April's at 40. Way to go. Getting close to the, um, the Mug Club. Or wait, Mug Club's 52. Getting close to Club 52. Pam's at 40 as well. Yay! I like the little pink background there. And Celicia is at 50 cards. 50 cards? Wow! Way to go! Getting close to the Mug Club as well. Lisa's at 60. Wow, that's really cool. I like the tag hanging on the side there too. Looks like you could pull it off and use it as a bookmark. Camille is at 70 cards. Wow, fantastic. Very cute. I like the little kitties. Melanie is at, is that 80? Wow, way to go, yep. Melanie. Congratulations. And Kim is at 80 as well. Oh, look at that. Very cute. <laughs> Chris is at 80 cards. That's a fun fold. I like that. We've got Deputy Heidi at 90 cards. Fantastic. I like the little tag that pulls out there. And then Ellen Card Monkey Jarvis is a zero hero as well this month or this week with 120 cards. Way to go, Ellen. All right, and then our top contributors, Jackie Muller is tied for fifth place with 103 cards. And she's tied with Smurf Murphy, also 103 cards. You guys are awesome. You guys are going to pass up Mary while she's out. <laughs> All right, Kathy has 107. Wow, that's fun. I like that card too. <laughs> And then we've got Alyssa 5K Lamone with 109. Does that say 109? I think so. Way to go. <laughs> and then Ellen Card Monkey Jarvis, 120 cards. That's fantastic. And then our leading lady, Patty Beck, with 137 consecutive cards. Wow, you're going to pass Mary up too. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, new to Club 52, Amy. She's got 52 cards. That's awesome. You get to uh, print your own card. <laughs> no perks, <laughs> but you're in the club. Mary as well. She's got uh, 52 cards and consecutive. Way to go. That's a great year. Karen is here as well with 52 consecutive. Well, I'm not sure about consecutive. 52 cards. Welcome to the Club 52. <laughs> All right, no new mug clubs this month or this week. Okay, so congratulations everybody. And I can't wait to see what everybody else is gonna make this week. Let's talk about um, the parameters. <laughs> before, we, before we actually start spinning, let's, uh, let's talk about what you would like to see, Lauren. If, uh, if you could pick your perfect wheel spins, what would they I'll be? I'll bring them up. Yes. Um, I mean, we were talking earlier that a, a gray purse card would be number one, right? Is that what everyone's hoping for? <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> and half the chatterbox leaves. Yeah, chatterbox just leaves. <laughs> on its own purse card. Um, <laughs> let's see. So, yes, I, I did look over them, and I, I am a big A2 card maker, which is not even on the list right now. So I really liked Card with a Heart because I feel like no matter what your favorite card style is, as long as there's a heart, you can make it. Um, so that was number six. And then for colors, I really liked 16, which was three pops of gold um, because it's so open still, right? Because we talked about like we could use any color as long as we also include three pops of gold. So. I feel like that is everyone should be happy with those colors and then my favorite element was 11 which was sweets I don't know if I just have a sweet tooth right now but sweets is my favorite and then um, I would have to say 24 don't add a cat just because 
I don't like cats. <laughs> I'm a dog person. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's so, awesome. uh, yeah, an animal that's not a cat with a heart and some sweets, I guess, would be my favorite card to make today. But all right, we'll, well see. We'll see what <laughs> Mr. Wheel gives yeah. us. I was looking at the list as well, and I think if I got to pick, if I magically got to pick, I would say a card for someone special would be at the top of my list because I don't make cards for anybody else. <laughs> Uh, that's number four. And then number 16, three pops of gold. I agree that you could definitely not go wrong with adding yeah. three pops of gold. That's easy. Three little gold sequins and anything else you want, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I had to go with number 19, lights, if I were going to choose because, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then uh, number nine, a three item cluster because I do like, mm. I like to cluster. Your things. three pops of gold could be all clustered. There clustered. you go. Yeah. Yep. Game cards. That, that would be, that would make life easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> it would. Yep. All right. Well, let's see. Before we get to spinning, let's see what we don't want. Let's see our vetoes this week. Uh, the from patrons. Our patrons. Said, yeah. I'm sorry. I just said from our patrons. Oh, from our patrons. Yes. I'm sorry. The, the patrons have voted. Another perk to being a patron, uh, you get to vote for vetoes. Uh, colors, blue jeans plus two. So that's not going to, to be forced on us tonight. Um, if it still works with the parameters and you want to make it, you sure can. For element, car or truck. So we don't have to use a car or truck in our card tonight. And then for random, swag. And I, I think of swag in a couple different ways. I think we vetoed this before because I remember talking about swag before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always think of The Office where he's like, stuff we all get. I don't know what else swag <laughs> is supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, I think of it as like concert t-shirts and, yeah. and stuff that has other people's logos on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I guess it could be like a floral swag as well. So, all right. Were there any... Is there anything you wanted to veto before we spin? I was going to say no, but I'm really terrified of getting that purse card. So we're, we're going to veto the purse card again. <laughs> All right. Now you made half the chatter box happy. <laughs> That's going to be on forever. I don't right. think it's never going to get picked. I think I would be sad if it was gone because what else do we talk about? <laughs> so that means... If your heart is set on making a purse card and it fits with the rest of the parameters, you still can, but the wheel can't force us to. So let's actually spin and see what we are going to make tonight. Sound good? Do a warm up. Yeah. All right, warm up first. Let's get Mr. Wheel ready. And for project. All right. Joyful. Joyful. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to read that, huh? <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> Mr. Producer, you're going to have to read this it's for fine. me. It's <laughs> fine. And for colors. Fall colors. Fall colors. That's nice. Element. It's on seven. Smile or smiles. Right. And, and random. So Ombre. Ombre. All right. So did you say a joy fold? That's our first one? Correct. And I have no joy. idea what that is. So good luck. I don't know either. Guys, I'm going to Google this real quick. <laughs> I have no idea what a joy fold card is. Let's see what Google says. Wow, that doesn't really. What could it mean? That doesn't help me. <laughs> is it a fold that brings you joy? 
I, I think that could count. <laughs> All right, guys. As the host, guest hosting, I'm going to make an executive decision. I'm going to say, if it brings you joy, make some sort of fold that brings you joy. Because I don't know what that is, and I'm very sorry. <laughs> I should have studied the parameters a little Michelle bit more. Michelle Lupton says it is a card within a card. Oh, I know what that is. Like a small card that sandwiches inside the other card. Is that right, Michelle? So, like, if you had... One opens left, one opens right. Uh, one opens left, uh, one opens uh, right. Oh. Okay, like a it could be like a three panel, like your back, like one goes this yeah. way and goes that way. Okay, all right. Then I rescind my <laughs> my. No, I I still think it counts that a fold oh, okay. that brings you joy. <laughs> all right, so make a card that folds within a card, or something that folds and brings you joy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for that. Sound okay? Yes. All right. So fall colors. So we've got warm colors. Your favorite. <laughs> I mean, that's all I do for all of, you know, September, October. So I have plenty of warm colors, but um, it'll be fine. That'll, that'll be good. I, uh, I like the warm colors. Like I said, team orange. So, and I just got my new lumberjack plaid. So that's oh, a, a nice warm red that might fall is. in there. <laughs> all nice. right and then we've got smile or smiles okay well if a joy fold you know <laughs> makes you <Go>. smile <laughs> those two are like the same right yeah <laughs> or you can have something fun i have i think the the tooth fairy set from heffy doodle which has teeth and oh that's funny that's i'm a good pretty one. sure there's a sentiment in there about smiles <laughs> I, like I may it. have a die that says smile too, or something like that. Um, and then random ombre. So if we did our fall colors in an ombre or mm. use some pattern paper, that's ombre. What do you think? Oh, that's a good one. I didn't even think about pattern paper. I have so much of it. You think I would use it more, but I don't. I, I just, collect, I just collect it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good idea. Yeah, definitely pattern paper. I like that. <laughs> There you go. Uh, somebody asked how you can make fall colors look like Christmas. I think take some liberty. I saw a really pretty rainbow card today that was like rainbow snowflakes. So you could do snowflakes yeah. out of different fall colors. I think just one. I mean, color. I would consider like green fall colored because. Absolutely. Especially Everything. here in Southern California too. I, I don't get leaves changing where I live. So. <laughs> yeah, we know fall it's fall because the. PSLs come out from yeah. Starbucks. <laughs> yep. All right. And um, okay, so when we talked about ombre, so let's see. Does the chatterbox have questions or ideas? I was really hoping for something clean and simple too. But I think ombre I'm, is pretty quick. I'm getting a text from someone saying remind them about neutrals. Oh yes, <laughs> in the neutrals. You're right. <laughs> From someone. <laughs> From someone. All right. So craft roulette neutrals. You have black, white, brown, craft, um, and your metallics like gold and silver, that kind of stuff. Um, am I forgetting any other neutrals? Gray? Did I say gray? So metallics. those are freebies. Yeah, and your metallics. So those are your freebies. So they can be incorporated with your fall colors. And your fall colors could be just little tiny, maybe little gems. And then you use the neutrals for the main part of your card if you want it as well. Although you do have to put some ombre in there somewhere. <laughs> but it could be neutral ombres. Yeah. So um, do you have any idea what you're going to lean toward? No. <laughs> Uh, the smile's throwing me off, but I mean, I could use like a critter that's smiling and um, I kind of like the idea of the joy fold. I think I will try to do the the three, you know, the I'm two on top yeah. um, and then fall colors. That's I, I got that. That's the smile part. So I got to find someone or something smiling. And I think. I'll yeah, more. maybe one of the kawaii stamps or something. Oh, yeah, that'd be cute. Yeah, I got to. Could it be that something that makes you smile? I think that would count. I think that Does would work. True. Okay. <laughs> well, then, <laughs> got this in the bag. <laughs> there you go. I, I kind of have an idea as well. I think I'm going to use uh, 
a die set that I used, I think, two weeks ago or so, because it, it has a bunch of uh, Christmas trees. It's from Trinity Stamps, and, and there are little faces for the trees. So oh, I think I think that'll that work. So, and I can make trees in fall colors. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So. Or a sentiment that says smile. Yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good one. I bet you there are a lot of sentiments that, that have a <laughs> smile in it. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah. You said like the tooth fairy, and then I was like, ooh, teeth. And I'm trying to think of teeth, and I don't have any <laughs> teeth. And I get stuck on one like track, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess there's like 12 different other ideas I could do. I don't have to do teeth. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I'll definitely, I think probably a critter. I love critters. So I'm sure a critter of some sort will probably be what I pick. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see. You want to start gathering stuff and get started? And yes. before or while we're gathering our stuff, we've got a word from our sister channel sponsor. <laughs> sister channel. There we go. Sister channel. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Do you find crafting hard? Are you stuck on one of those pesky parameters? Do you feel like the wheel is watching you while you craft? We have the solution for you. Hi, I'm Mary Gunfun. While I'm busy gathering my supplies, I just wanted to tell you about my other YouTube channel, youtube.com slash fun university. We break down the parameters and talk about them at a more in-depth level. We also pick one tricky one to concentrate on and do a deep dive into it. <laughs> but that's not all. We do our mail call every week on the channel as well. So if you wanted to send me a card or a package, send it to this address and I'll share it on the show. We're live almost every Tuesday night on youtube.com slash Fun University. We also do some celebration there because we will review our last week's achievement board. That's youtube.com F U N N University. No easy or complicated payments. No COD. Just show up and have fun. If you have too much fun, please call a friend immediately and invite them over to have fun with you. Normal postage and handling rates do apply. This ad was not paid for by anybody. We hope Mary is ready because I can't stretch this out any longer. Now back to the show. Here we go. All right. So this is the die set that I was talking about. And when I was looking for this, I saw a camera die set that has the word smile in it. So that would be a good idea too. But I think this is the one I'm going to go with. And oh, I have tape on here. This is a handy trick for anybody who films videos. When we come back with Lauren, you won't see my tape anymore, but that way I won't go out of the frame. <laughs> I did go ahead and pull out a bunch of scraps of cardstock. And I keep them in these big organizers. They're 12 by 12 organizers, just by color. So I pulled out my fall colors and I'm gonna start die cutting. Now I've got a little tiny die cutting machine so that I can be in frame for you guys as well. And since that die set has little faces in there, I'm not sure if you guys can see them, but there's little smiley faces in there. I thought that would be fun to include. And then I think in the chatterbox there were questions about what ombre is exactly, and it's just fading from one color to another or transitioning. It can go from white to another color or black to another color, or you can go from green, like a rainbow tends to transition from one color to the next. Um, and then a lot of times people just do one color. So from like a light dark to, or a, a light, pink to a dark pink, something like that, um, where you just get a gradual transition in color. That's that's what I would say 
is an ombre, but it can be multiple colors if you'd like. And I think I think I'm going to cut my trees from greens and then I'm going to do like a warm red, orange, yellow ombre background. Yep. All right. I think Lauren's ready. She's going to come back and join us. And you're back. Hello. I'm nervous. <laughs> But I remembered that I uh, have this stamp from Artful Angel, which I really wanted to use. Um, it's Woof You, and it has, like, these really cute corgis, um, especially this cute little corgi butt. So I'm going to use this one. Uh, Annie Smiling. That's the one I'm going to use. So Very cute. That will work out perfectly. Five minutes. Does anybody else save their scraps until, until they're dead? Yeah. <laughs> use yeah. them until you can't use them anymore. <laughs> I swear my scrap pile never gets smaller. I was kind of hoping that we'd get something like a get well soon sort of idea. Yeah. I was we could just flood Mary's mailbox. But I think we could flood her mailbox with smiles and a joy fold card. Yeah. So what I just <laughs> try to figure out this joy fold. Let's see. I guess I could have looked it up, but that's all right. I actually, now that I didn't know that that's what it was called, but I made one at a retreat in at Pink and Main when they were still in Georgia. And it was a lot of fun. I have no idea where that card is, but it was a really cute card. <laughs> I'm going to make it slightly smaller. Friday evening and my engineering brain is off and having to do math is making me think too hard. Michelle <laughs> is giving hints in the chat and saying, making the inner card smaller. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Thank you, Michelle. It's the morning for her, so. Ah, her mind she's is on going. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Oh, I could make these trees ombre if I wanted. Where they go from one color to the next. Maybe I'll do that. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. Change, change directions. <laughs> All right. I need a little die cut gel, otherwise I will lose them all. I like trays like this. And then I can just set it off to the side and not lose them. Because we all know how small our desk gets <laughs> when we're working, right? Yeah, I know, especially trying to stay in one spot. Do you think this watercolor paper looks ombre enough? Should I add Oh, more? yeah, that looks ombre. You could always ink blend a little bit more on the bottom if you wanted to. Oh, that's true. If you felt like it wasn't quite ombre enough. <laughs> Is Deputy Heidi here? She will set us straight. Oh, 
Okay. So once you're feeling like you're in a good spot, I do have some questions for you. Sure. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. All right. I covered it up. <laughs> I've got it here. All right. So Carice from Artful Angel asked, uh, she actually had a question for both of us, but I'll let you start. She okay. says, Lauren, you do such beautiful work. What type of card is your current favorite to create? Um, well, thank you. It's very kind of you. Um, I mean, like type of card or theme of card, I guess my favorite top, my favorite top, my favorite type of card is always a top folding A2. Um, I find that they sit on mantles and bookshelves better. Um, and then my favorite like theme of card right now, I mean, even it's always Halloween. Halloween is my favorite <laughs> card to make. I can make them at least once a month. So I would have to say a Halloween top folding A2 card is my go-to favorite card. <laughs> All right. Well, that's fun. <laughs> I like it. Uh, let's see. I can answer the question she asked for me. She said she loves pear blossom lights and she asked what inspired me to create them. Uh, the truth is our first product was actually um, designed to work with Chibitronics and, and I love Chibitronics. I always will. Um, in fact, they just came out with a cool new switch. But um, I had a lot of people who were using our power pack and saying that they were still, they wanted something simpler. So we pre-wired them and came out with the easy light. And, and that's kind of how it started. <laughs> uh, let's see here. More questions for you from Gwen Simmons. She says, how and when did you get into paper crafting? Um, when I was finishing up school, um, I my mom was into paper crafting. Um, she was going to a Stampin' Up! monthly club thing, and uh, she invited me to go with her, and I made a card. And it had to have been around 2009, I think. That was the year I graduated college. Um, so I think around then. So I did take a small break when I had my daughter because couldn't do it all. But I've been, yeah, paper crafting and making cards since about 2009, which, again, that requires math. I don't know how long ago that was. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Feels like forever. I have enough stuff for it to be forever. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure that at least, probably at least four out of five card makers got started with Stampin' Up, right? Or Dots? Yeah, what was Dots? Sure. Close to my heart? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I that's how I got my start as well. Stampin' up parties. Yep. I love them. And let's see here. Cordelia asks, you're a crafter, wife, and mom. What do you do when you need me time? And Mary says not to mention you're an engineer as well. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, my degree is in engineering. I don't really do much engineering anymore, but um Crafting really is my me time. And if I'm not crafting, I'm either watching something on TV. Right now it's The West Wing or YouTube True Crime. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But crafting definitely is my me time. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. I think since it's become more of a job for me. Mm -hmm. I get to do it all the time, which is really cool. But sometimes my brain just yep. doesn't go there. <laughs> I definitely get that. But I enjoy it. And when my brain doesn't go there, I just go do something else that has to be done. <laughs> yeah. I'll come back to it later when, I'm, when I've got the spark again. Uh, let's see. Roberta? Um, asks, let's see. Oh, she has questions for both of us. How did you hear about craft roulette? And she says, I know you are both card makers of all sorts of cards from simple to interactive. 
Both of you are so inspiring. However, what or where do you get your inspiration from for your cards? Um, what was the first part of the question? Uh, how did you hear about Craft Roulette? Oh, Craft Roulette, that's right. Um, I, fellow guest crafters um, had just suggested to Mary that I she should reach out to me. So I got a nice little Instagram message from her. And I went and watched the show and I thought it was really cool. So I said yes. And uh, that's really how I found out was just from having other crafter friends that I've connected with through the internet um, recommended me. So uh, yeah. And then what was the second part of the question? Sorry, I get so nervous asking, <laughs> answering questions. <laughs> she says uh, both of or. What or where oh, do you get your inspiration. inspiration for your cards? That's right. Um, you know, when I was first really starting to craft, it was definitely Pinterest. I was on there all the time looking at how people used certain stamp sets or different types of cards. Um, now, I would say, pro yeah, probably the same. Instagram, I'm on that a lot. I like to see other people and how they uh, use stamp sets. Sometimes I'll get a stamp set and I... I only have, like I said earlier, one track mine, and I will only think of like one or two ideas. And then I see someone else make something like completely cool and crazy with it that I'm like, oh, I didn't realize I could do that. So definitely from other people on the Internet. I love it. I love how willing people are to share their ideas. And I like doing the same. So um, Pinterest and Instagram, I would say, were, are my go to or inspiration. Uh, I'm going to say ditto there because yeah. I'm the same way. I used to get a bunch of magazines and and those were fun, but the uh, they get dated and I never seemed to go back to them. They were just taking up space <laughs> on my shelf, you know, but some of them I would like put a little flag in, but then I never actually went back to them, especially mm -hmm. when Pinterest came around. But, but oh, yeah. Pinterest. That was it. Why bother? Up. You know, you can yeah, you can search for exactly it. what you're looking for. Yeah. Um, so that also really helped me to clean out my craft room and make a lot of space for more stuff because I got rid of all my <laughs> old magazines. <laughs> hey, Lauren, uh, uh, Ellen is asking what kind of markers yes. those are. So these are oh, I, I sound so silly saying it. Oh, hoo hoo. Is that how I? I don't know how you say them. I They're so. um. <laughs> They're re relatively cheap. I just got like a big pack of them. Um, they're alcohol markers. These are the Honolulu B. So I have a brush tip and a fine tip. But um, I've been really enjoying playing with them. I normally use Spectrum Noir, but um, I just got these as a... I said Abigail got them for me for Christmas, but I bought them for <laughs> myself. <laughs> also, thank you, Abigail. She's like, what She's did I buy house. you? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. But I'm still getting used to them, so I have to kind of like test out the colors, but yeah, they're they're pretty easy to work with and relatively inexpensive compared to other brands. So yeah, I'm saving up for my new Olo markers. That's on yeah. my list. I got to see them at Creativation or whatever they call it now. Um, and it, they're really cool. They're really, really neat. So they're on my list. But of course, they came out after I completed my Copic collection. <laughs> You're like, cool. Thank you. Yeah. And of course, I learned too late that with sketch markers, there's a trick to opening the cap so you don't ruin your markers. Ask me how many I ruined. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to cut this one smaller. Well, I'll cut it the same size to start, and then I'll cut it down. And instead uh, of a regular top fold, I'm going to fold it sideways. For Can you refill them, yeah. Lauren? Um, from what I heard, that is the way that they're going. I, I don't know. I know that because they're gaining a lot of popularity, I think they are going that way um but i i don't know any details on that yet 
And as far as blending them, I just got this huge pack. This is like literally my first thing I've colored with. It came like yesterday. Um, so I don't know yet, but I do love the skin tone um, set. Those I think are awesome. Um, so that's what led me down to trying more colors. So we'll see. Yeah, I started with um, another set before I got Copics. And I can't remember what they were. They were like a, a less expensive brand and they worked Ooh. great. They had bullet um, tips instead of the brush tips on one Is side. Let your set. I don't know. Oh, I used to have let your set. I liked them. But yeah, I liked them, but they, they got to the them. point where they were dry. And then mm -hmm. I knew at that point I did like alcohol markers because I didn't want to spend all the money on Copics yep. to start and then decide I didn't like them. Um, so then I decided to, as they dried out, I was replacing with Copics. Oh man, now I wish I would have done it the other way. All right, well, I'll cut again. <laughs> And I just have extra card bases ready. <laughs> Good thing I didn't try cutting it down first. Amanda, how did you hear about Craft Roulette? Oh, I heard about it from Berta. She knows. <laughs> <laughs> I was a lurker for a long time, just kind of hiding out in the background because I was on a lot of design teams and you always have deadlines and stuff and I'm never like super far in advance done. So Friday night I would turn on craft roulette and then I would watch and sometimes the parameters would end up in my design team projects, mm -hmm. but you know, not all of them. And, and then when I finally decided, okay, I'm going to actually turn in a card. I don't know why I was hesitant about it. I forgot to actually turn it in on craft roulette.live. I turned it in just in Facebook or something. <laughs> so learn from my mistake. Oh, I'm going to keep going this way. Yeah, I've missed a couple of weeks. I'm, I'm consecutive. I've always made one, but I think my, I was looking at my gallery and there's like two random weeks missing. And I was like, Ooh, I think I forgot to submit online. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, I know what you mean. <laughs> I should have a an asterisk by my consecutive, I guess, because I made them. They're there. <laughs> <laughs> Just not officially on the site. Well, I know a guy you could petition, but I'm I not know. sure how well it'll go. <laughs> it <should>. no. <laughs> All right. We can so probably make it happen. <laughs> All right, I got to finish coloring. I'm going to be here forever with this guy. Not all the way. Oops. I'm going to try taking off a half inch first and seeing if that's small enough. Oh, I think I need to trim down this guy. Michelle, if you're around, tell me if I'm doing this right. <laughs> take off one. So now I have a side fold and it's slightly shorter here. And then this guy can line up something like this. And then we'll connect it, open, close, like that. Is that right, Michelle? I think so. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I'm doing my next. So uh, <laughs> you, you do it first so I can learn from you. And then <laughs> I make it. It'll be perfect. All right. <laughs> <laughs> when I craft with my mom, that's what she does. She'll watch me make it. And I'll be like, oh, I should have done that. And she's like, oh, I'll do it. And I'm like. <laughs> Okay, great. I'm glad your card will turn out better than mine. That's nice. 
<laughs> I got to meet your mom. She's very nice and yeah. very talented. She I picked is. up some of her Halloween goodies as well. We, what I like is that we have different styles. Like I'm definitely more of the cutesy, brighter, and she's the like vintage graphic 45 you know, vibe. So yeah. I like that we're, we're different. That's nice. You can borrow each other's supplies, but yes, definitely. And you probably open each other's eyes up to different products that you may yes. not have grabbed yourself. <laughs> yes, definitely. We enable each other. That is true. <laughs> Smart. All right. So I want to ink blend on the front of my card. But in order not to get it on the inside, I'm going to use some memo tape here. And I'm just going to put it. And this will also help hold it down to my little silicone pad here. And this is like just full stick tape. There we go. And I've got my lumberjack plaid. <laughs> and I've got carved pumpkin and squeezed lemonade. So let's see if we can build an ombre. Oh, I was going to do my trees as well. They'll both be ombres. How's that? <laughs> Crafting on the fly. You forget where you're going, but you just yep. keep going, right? Yep. You'll get there eventually. Yeah. Fingers crossed. I'm going to give it a curve. I love this corgi has a little tail because I used to have a corgi mix. Um, my sweet Eleanor, my little Ellie Belly. She was a corgi German Shepherd mix. So oh, she wow. was as low to the ground, but <laughs> incredibly strong. <laughs> and she had a German Shepherd tail on her little body. So you get bruises on your shins from her. Oh no. He was so sweet. So next time I color, I'm definitely gonna have to add some German Shepherd coloring into there. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Yeah, she was so sweet. Pain in the butt, but so sweet. I know how that goes. <laughs> I have a fresh bruise from our rabbit honey. She jumped up on the bed this morning. And she wanted to cuddle and get pets. So I gave her all of that. But apparently I wasn't cuddling her right. So she gave me a little <laughs> nip and bruised me up just because she knew I was going to be on camera today. <laughs> She's crazy. But we love Reminding her. Reminding you who's boss. That's all. Yep. She would Cut very much like it to be her. Cut my paper too short. That's why uh -oh. you measure twice, or yeah, measure twice, cut once. That's okay. I'm going to do it again. So this is four. Five. Oh, so I need five. Okay. That's what I did. Five inches. I forgot the ground. It's going to be fine. I'm not going to worry about it. My trees are just going to be floating. Maybe I will give them a ground. All right. I've talked myself into it. <laughs> no, not a torn one. A pretty one. And for those who asked who, how my dog happened, I don't know. I rescued her from a shelter. I wanted a corgi. So, <laughs> I mean, I knew my chances were slim of finding one in a shelter, but... I still kept looking and one day she popped up on the um, LA County shelter. She was all the way out in Lancaster, which is like a two hour drive. So my husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, I made him get up real early and we drove out to go get her and there was, it had rained. So there was a huge rainbow out there and it was like, it was just meant to be. Oh, I know she was so cute. Oops. Crafting on the fly means you drop things as you go. <laughs> My husband watches a YouTuber who fixes cars and he's always dropping things and he calls it 
gravity, flashlight gravity, tire gravity, tool gravity, <laughs> anything that falls, gravity. So I decided I didn't want just a torn border. I wanted a, a prettier die cut border. So I die cut one. Oh, the wrong way. Tape. So do you have any big plans for the holidays? Um, well, we usually go to, well, usually we are. So we go to um, Florida um, generally oh. in that kind of like week between Christmas and New Year's. Um, so I usually am there for New Year's Eve. My dad's like whole side of the family lives in uh, Tampa. So we go out to visit and um, it's really fun. I love my family out there so I don't get to see them very often. So um, yeah, we go out. We're planning like just after Christmas and coming back just after the new year. So oh, how nice. Fun. Yeah. But uh, we... We asked for Christmas this year instead of gifts um, if we could just go to Epcot at Disney World. So looking forward to that. Ooh, that'll be fun. Yeah. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. What about you? Uh, I will have everybody over for dinner, I'm sure. I haven't planned it that far. <laughs> It'll probably be dinner for like somewhere between eight and 20 people. I don't know. And then and at some point, pretty soon, I'll put up the Christmas tree. But not oh. <laughs> <laughs> We do have our lights up outside on the house because they were they were still there from last year. <laughs> I like it. Uh, we, our tradition is always the day after Thanksgiving. So we've had our tree up. Now we went from Halloween right into Christmas, but uh, our tree is has been up since the day after Thanksgiving. Nice. Very nice. And remind me again, I know you have Abigail. I want to say you have a son too. Is that right? Or no, one and done. Is my motto. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, just a daughter. Yeah, she's a uh, third grade. Time goes by so fast. It really does. That could be why I didn't remember your son's name. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't it exist. It doesn't exist, yeah. <laughs> An imaginary son. Yep. What do I want to do? All right. Close enough. Not quite straight, but. Later. All right. Makes me happy anyhow. We'll put some trees on top and find a sentiment. Oh, all right. And their faces. How are we doing on time, Mr. Producer? We're good. Okay. We're doing very well, actually. Nice. Probably because I talk really fast when I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't talk at all when I'm nervous, so that's good. We'll, we'll be out of here real quick. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're doing great. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for coming on with me so I wouldn't be here. I, know, I should have just drove out there. That would have been fun. Yeah, next time. We could have put something fun in our mugs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I'm so glad I got this die set. I kind of grabbed it on a whim and now I've already used it a couple times. Oh, I think my daughter snagged my pencil. I'm always bad at doing this, like, I want my paper on top to also have a circle and I never get it centered right. So we're going to, we're going to try. We'll All see. All right. Oh, that's not what I want. So for next year, do you have any big plans in the works? Um, I don't think so. Not that I know of. <laughs> Hope not. <laughs> Unless it's all good, of course. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, like winning the lotto and that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely <laughs> superb. I'm going to be traveling a little bit. Oh, nice. We're going to do Stamp and Scrapbook Expo in a... I think eight different cities. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then that's awesome. I'm excited. I'm really, it was a lot of fun. You came out and did the make and take with me when we did it in Ontario. Yeah. And we didn't do it again this year, but we will next year. We're doing, we committed to a bunch of shows. So nice. I'm excited. Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. And I'm going to go teach at a retreat in Dallas in February. So that'll be fun too. I'm looking forward to, to going there. Oops, I guess I should get and then top. hopefully at the end of the year, we can do a little bit of like family traveling. Oh, yeah. Very cool. We'll probably go to Florida in the summer again. My grandparents are not youngins, so we try to go out um, twice a year now. Make sure we spend as much time as we can. But my daughter and I are pretty um, involved with Girl Scouts. And the Girl Scout convention is actually in Orlando this summer. So Oh, that would be perfect. That. Yeah, we'll see how that is. It's our first time. So hopefully it's fun. I mean, it's at Disney World, so you really can't go wrong. Yeah, you could just, <laughs> you know, if things aren't going the way you want. You could ditch them in. <laughs> Yeah, but we're just going to go to the parks. <laughs> uh, I couldn't say I would blame you. Uh, in Dallas, I'll be in Love Field, right by the airport. Uh, the event is called Bellacon. I'm really excited about it. Uh, there's going to be some fantastic teachers. I'm not really sure why they invited me. <laughs> oh, don't say that. But I am. Um, I'm not turning them down. I'm going anyhow. <laughs> it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. I do like, I've gone to retreats. One time I flew all the way to uh, Florida to go to a, a class that Kathy Rakusen was teaching at MFT. And it was so cool. And I didn't color one thing because I spent the whole time talking. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wouldn't change it. I had a, I had a blast. So. That's really All right. cool. These guys are small. I actually, I went to another class here in Southern California at Lawn Fawn and, and I did color there. So, you know, it wasn't like, <laughs> like I never learned to color with her. <laughs> I like these little faces. The parts are kind of tiny, but they're super cute and you can interchange them all. That's really cute. I like this little open face. <laughs> All right, I need help coming up with a sentiment for this one. This doesn't look anything like cards I normally make. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. I like the colors. 
Hmm. What are our parameters? Am I forgetting any? Joyful, fall colors, smiles, and what was the last one? Ombre. Oh, ombre. ombre. Oh, I did that one. Okay. I think maybe I'll give them. <laughs> All right, let me find a sentiment and I'll think about the sky. I have a smile that I think I do. The hugs. <laughs> Micah said, my tree is quoting the Goonies. <laughs> I've got holidays. I wonder if I can turn this into a Christmas card. I don't think so. I think I'll leave it. Fall. Oh. Got this big one that says warm hugs. Kind of covers his face. <laughs> Maybe I could move his face down lower. Does that mean I need to move her face down lower? I think I'm just gonna see what happens. <laughs> or a smaller sentiment now you tell me nope i already ripped this paper it's coming up We should have added more color to this before I cut it. Okay. So what is everybody else in the chatterbox doing for the holiday? And Mr. Producer, what are you guys going to be doing? Sorry, I was letting the dogs out. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys going to be doing for the holidays? I have not thought ahead that far. <laughs> Join the club. Lots of things have been happening. <laughs> yep. Just a few. I hope not much, to be honest. It'll be nice to relax a bit, probably. No. You guys will have a, a little break in the show, right? Yeah, that week. Yeah. Next week. Or not next week. Or is the it? Yeah, after. next week. Yeah, next week is already Christmas. Next week is Biddy Penny, right? No, she's on the 30th, I believe. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. We're that close to Christmas? Yes. I guess I should <laughs> get my shopping done and wrap some presents. <laughs> Maybe I should hustle on that tree. <laughs> One more time. My nephew, is. his birthday is Sunday. He's always, oh, yeah, he's a week before Christmas. I guess I'm just now doing the math. <laughs> Does he get a lot of birthday slash Christmas gifts? Yeah, I think so. But he's at the point where it's all like gift certificates anyhow. So oh, okay. that's not too bad. When Do he you was... get that too as a January, early yeah. January baby? Yeah. I used Remember? to. My mom's birthday is the 5th, so she's pretty oh. close to yours. So, yep, she gets a lot of, oh, I got this for you for Christmas and your birthday. Your birthday. Well, everybody's broke. I feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want them to have to send me anything, you know? I guess that's true. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think we're gonna be okay with this. Ish. Except I ripped my paper. So I'll move it down a little bit lower. And you won't know that I ripped my paper and I'll put his face down here. Or I can put his <laughs> face peeking through. That's probably silly. No. All right. You put the sentiment on the inside. Oh. Well, I already ripped his face off. Which is <laughs> <laughs> a weird scent. A weird thing to say. <laughs> I think. I think we're going to go for it. Anyway. And after the camera ends rolling and everything, I'll probably come back and add two or three layers of the warm hugs just because I like a stacked sentiment. Mm -hmm. But for the sake of time, I'll just go quick here, get this on because I got to give him a new face. <laughs> I guess I do need something on the inside, maybe a sub sentiment on the inside. Luann Johnson already has her card in. Oh my goodness. Way to go. I know. I just get excited when I get it done by Sunday. I know. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like, <laughs> I'm ahead of the game. But then it's always Sunday night and it's a terrible time to take a picture. So <laughs> this is Monday morning when the sun comes out. I feel like I need more on this layer, but you know what? We're going to keep it simple. I'm going to cut a new face. Probably should have stamped my sentiment before gluing my whole card together. <laughs> well... Let's I was see. kind of coming to that conclusion myself. Oops. Well, I'm not going to say this is the best card I've ever made, but <laughs> I think it's going to be okay. I need something shiny. Okay, I need to shine. Three pops of gold for Chad? Three pops of gold would be great. I'm going to grab my gold. Yeah, it definitely needs something here. <laughs> Some sort of sentiment. I'll post it. Okay. Maybe another tree. Not right now. <laughs> I'm so bad when it comes to like placing these things I always overthink it and then I end up with like 30 little dots everywhere because I, I want it to look even <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, I think putting the sequins on can take longer than any other part of a card okay joy ball smile and ombre I think I did it I mean it's real simple i want to add i think more later like i need some paw prints or something around this <laughs> i'm gonna have to dig through sentiments later to figure out the inside but i think 
think I'm about ready to call them done. How about you? Yes. This stamp set is so cute. I love this. I, I mean, if you, I think Artful, she's still a sponsor this week, right? Yes, Carissa's yes. a sponsor. Yeah. That is adorable. I do like that Corgi set. It's Super really cute. Corgis are so much fun. They really are. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see. So Mary was kind enough to give me notes. I'm sure I'm completely <laughs> off script by now. <laughs> oh, I forgot a whole little section. Uh, <laughs> we were supposed to ask new people uh, if they're team orange or team purple. That probably got discussed in the chatter box. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. A spirited debate. <laughs> Oh, Team Purple's winning? All right. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So if you're done and I'm done, we can tell everybody what we did. Do you want to go first? Sure. So I attempted a joy fold, which based off of the help from the chatter box is got two folds in here. A, I used fall colors. I went heavy with like the orange, yellow, red for my fall colors. Um, smile. So I have a cute little corgi smiling and ombre. I tried to choose pattern paper that had an ombre look to it. And then I also added some extra ink on my sentiment to also meet that parameter. That is adorable. Very cute. Thank you. <laughs> Well, let's see. I've got my warm hugs card. I did the joy fold, I think. It probably needs something here and here, eventually, after <laughs> the camera stops. Uh, fall colors, I've got the, the ombre as well. That's the red, orange, yellow, and then our greens and browns. And I think there was some debate at one point about making green a craft roulette neutral, but I, I haven't heard that <laughs> that happened yet. <laughs> But I think it counts for fall. <laughs> yes, it does. It definitely does. <laughs> yeah, and, and then our background's nice and fall colors there. Yeah. Um, there's a smile on this tree, and it's a happy card, so that should create smiles when it's received. And again, that ombre, I've got ombre trees and ombre in my background. It's so pretty. I love your ink blending. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Such talent. I think we did it. Yes. All right. Well, that means it's time to tell everybody else how they can play at home. Although it sounds like people have already started turning in cards. <laughs> yep. Uh, you want to flip your camera up? There we go. And we'll do it. All right. Never mind the mess behind me. <laughs> so how to play. You make a card of your own. You have 48 hours to turn it in. Remember to turn it into craftroulette.live. Don't do what I did and forget. <laughs> um, make sure that your card has the following parameters. It is, let's see, I've already forgot. Joyfold, uh, fall colors. You want an ombre and, and smiles. <laughs> I really should have put my glasses on. All right. And coming up next week, we've got Biddy Penny with guests. Uh, two I'm weeks. Sorry, two weeks. So next week is Mary's twin sister reading us a Christmas story. Um, and there will be no challenge for the week. Uh, it's just fun for, for Christmas. And then the following week is Biddy Penny with guest Ardith. We, we love Ardith. We've had her on here before quite a few times. Um, I'll be back on January 6th with my friend Carrie Rhodes. And then coming up, who do we have here? Chelsea Comer. Chelsea oh, Comer. Chelsea Comer. Yay. And then uh, Desiree from... Uh, include a thank you. I, I know I do it. <laughs> We've had Desiree on before as well. So it's going to be some great shows and Mary will be back for those last two there. So that'll be nice to see her back again. What's next? Upcoming Patreon. Guests. Yeah. Okay. So remember this show is a community sponsored event or community sponsored show. The uh, spin sponsors don't help pay for, <laughs> pay for the show. Um, so Thank you to everybody who does uh, put put in a little bit every month. Like I said, it's like the cost of the Starbucks, you know, cheaper than a magazine subscription. I think it's definitely worth it just to have the perk of 
being able to turn in my card late because I do it almost every single week. <laughs> um, and you don't have to be a, a patron to participate, but it's just a, a nice way to say thank you if you can. Okay. Um, and these are our fun friends and our sp sponsors that are helping out. Thank you. So I think it's time for a giveaway. Are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so for everybody that turned in a card last week and your your cards were all featured in the um, slideshow at the beginning, you are entered to win. And this week uh, we have an extra prize. Um, so first up, uh, a little bit of housekeeping on that. Not all prizes can go international. Um, and we'll let you know uh, if you get a, a prize that, that isn't international. But you do need to fill out the form if you win. And that's over, it's on craftroulette.live, correct? Yep. Yeah, okay. There is a prize claim form. So. All right. So fill that out and you have, same as, as entering, you have 48 hours to get that in. Um, or if you're a patron, you have extended submission time for that too. So if you don't catch the replay right away and you won, you have a few extra days to claim it. Okay. So first up, we're going to, did I miss anything major? Nope. Okay, good. Let's do a handmade um, card. <laughs> the first up is an itty bitty gift or a handmade card with an itty bitty gift. That's right. And this can go anywhere. Okay, I'm going to squint because those names are really small for me. Sorry, guys. All right. Is that the Amy? Amy. Oh, okay. Amy, you have 48 hours to claim your prize or longer if you're a patron. Um, you're going to get a, a handmade, handmade card. card. Itty bitty. <laughs> I didn't practice this part. Sorry, guys. All right. Time for a goodie bag. These cannot ship international. Um, these are U.S. based. So hopefully our winner is U.S. based. And who do we have? Leanne? Does that say? Oh, Laura. 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 Yay. Congratulations. You have 48 hours to claim your prize. Let us know and you can get that goodie bag. And now it's time for an Artful Angel gift certificate. All right. This is a good one. And there is, you guys, make sure you check the link for Artful Angel because there's a discount code in there too. So take advantage. All right. Now, who do we have? Jean. Jean, yay. Congratulations, Jean. Make sure that you fill out that form and let us know that you want to claim your prize. Oh, and I'm doing a, a giveaway tonight, too. So this is going to be, we have two prizes. We're going to do a $25 gift certificate first. Twenty seconds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I can't read that. Pam? Yep, Pam F. Pam. Yay, Pam. All right, let us know. And then I've got brand new product in the works, our Twinkle Lights. You can't buy these yet. So somebody's going to win um, a pair of our Twinkle Lights. And they're really cool. <laughs> All right. Leslie. Says, does that say Leslie? All right, Leslie. Give me a, a shout or let us know, fill out that form and let us know. And those are international too. So, um, so let us know. Okay. So we've got some great prizes and back to the interview. Oh, back to, back to Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how did you, um, how did you feel about that card? Now that you've got it done and you've been here before, um, yeah, three, four, four times. I, do. I like it. Like I said, I think I might add a little more like to my background here because I don't know how to stop. But um, I, I this is a really fun fold. I did make a fold like this before one time, um, but it was a fun, a joyful fold to make. So uh, <laughs> I love it. This Corgi is so cute. This is going to go on my desk. I don't think it's going to be sent to anybody. <laughs> well, that's great. 
Yeah. It's always fun to try something new, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a really fun card. I liked it a lot. Awesome. And I can't wait to see what everybody else creates. We're going to have a, a fun um, F-U-N-N board oh. this week, right? Oh, yeah. and there's Abby. Oh, Hi, there's Abby. A, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> okay. Anything you want to say to our fun friends before we close out the show? Um, well, thank you for having me, Amanda. You were an excellent host. Definitely miss you, Mary, when you watch this later. Um, but thank you all for your kind words. I tried to read as much as I could off to the side, but it was a lot of fun and I can't wait to come back again. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for helping me figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Mr. Producer, for keeping everything going and, and putting together an awesome show for us. Yes. All of our friends in the chatterbox and everybody who's going to catch it on the replay. Thank you so much for joining us. Mary, I hope you feel better soon because you have to come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, it's time to kiss your brains and say goodnight. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>